I figured that with April 1st right around the corner, I ought to do a little bit of a flashback to some two previous tips I had of pranks you can do for users of Mac OS X. Now, neither of these are dangerous or can destroy a system, they just get pretty irritating. So we're going to have the automatic shutdown and the big dock trick. To start off, what we're going to do is we're going to do the shutdown prank and we'll make a new final window. You go to your applications folder, Apple script, script editor, we'll open that up. And here all you have to do is tell app finder to shut down. We'll compile that and this is what it should look like right here. And we want to see if there's something a bit, I guess, not easily noticeable. So we'll command shift S and we are going to save this as new mail alert and just we'll just save it to our desktop. Right here you want to say application or actually application bundle and that's it. We then want to say save and what this Apple script does is it just shuts down your computer no warning. Now I'm not going to run it because then it quit the movie and everything but trust me it works. We'll quit script editor and then what we're going to do is we'll take this and our on the host computer or on our Marcos computer we want to put this somewhere they won't notice. So you might want to do it in maybe their music folder. Go to music, iTunes, iTunes, album artwork, you just pop it right there and then they're not going to be looking there for it and so it'll be kind of hard to find and they're not just going to stumble upon it. Also what we want to do is we want to go to our system preferences. And we'll go to accounts, uh, and this is on their account. And we'll go to login items, and we'll add it right here. So we'll say plus, and we'll go to their home folder, their music folder, iTunes, album artwork, new mail alerts. We'll add that, and now when we log in again, it will automatically shut down their computer, and they don't have a chance of being able to even realize what happens, just also just, you know, they'll log in, they'll log out and shut down. Now if you want to avoid it, the way you avoid this is you either log in as another person, so like you log in as your guest account, and then you quick switch on over to your, your account, which is shutting down on you, and you can just remove it from there because this will not run unless uh, you're the only account logged in. The other thing you can do is go down to your dock and wait for it to launch and when it launches right click on it and say quit or uh, force quit by holding on the option key and then you can easily get rid of it that way so that's how you get around that tip and that is the uh, shutdown tip next up we'll be doing the big dock tip Our next prank is by far my favorite, and it's the Big Doc prank. It was actually inside MacLife magazine. I submitted it for the March issue, and if you get MacLife at all, it's near the beginning. And uh, what it is, is we take a lot of items, put them inside the dock, save the dock file, and just put it inside your Mark's home folder, and kill the dock. And I'll show you how to do this. Start off. We'll go to our library, preferences, and we'll look for com.apple.doc.plist. We'll option drag this to desktop, and we'll call this old. Then what we'll do is we'll close that, and we need to find a folder with lots of items in it. If they, you know, are music fan or something, they need to do that. Uh, we'll just start out folders from the library folder. And as you notice, I can't drag all these items in at once. You can only drag in a few at a time. It's around 10. There we go. There we go. And just select some items and drag it in. Careful not to drop any folders onto folders like that. You want to drag between. And we'll just keep scaling down small sizes. There we go. Now we'll go back to our preferences folder and we'll do these. And the idea is we want to get lots and lots and lots. I dragged too many. 
and get lots and lots and lots of items into our doll. And you don't have to worry because your doll preferences are saved right there. Almost done. Now it doesn't matter if the person has these files or not, because if they don't, they'll show up as question marks and it'll just be even more infuriating, uh, which is actually kind of funny. But if they do, great. If they don't, bummer. Now if you don't find this annoying enough, you, you have the option, you can right click on here, go to your dock preferences, and what we want to do is we want to turn on magnification to the maximum, and we'll make it as small as possible. We'll have to do that. And now what we're going to do is we'll go down here and when you drag it across it makes the icons really big and really irritating. So you can turn that on or off if you like or you can change dock, permit, dock position if you like. But I suggest you don't do that because then they'll notice and they'll come here and they'll go, oh magnification is on, I don't want that on. So now we have that, we're going to go to our preferences folder again, we'll go to library, preferences, call that apple.doc.plist, and we'll option drag this to our desktop, and then we'll rename that one to new.com.apple.doc.plist, and we'll delete the old off of that one. There you go, so it should be comms.apple.doc.plist. Drop it on here. Do we really want to replace this? We'll say yes. And then we'll open up terminal. Just do a spotlight search for it. We'll say okay. And we're going to K I L L A L L space capital D O C K. Hit return. And our doc returns to this normal unhidden doc that just you know our normal three applications well two and trash and if you wanted to uh, I'll show you what this does we'll name this com.apple.doc.plist save this and all you have to do is get on your friend's computer drop this into your preferences folder and kill the doc and to kill the doc you do kill all doc like I did earlier so you'll drop this in you'll save in place and we'll go to terminal and we'll say kill all doc, two words, capital D on the doc, say OK, and we have this doc back again. To recover, what they have to do is they have to go here, find it, if they know where, and delete it. Then they log out, and when they log back in again, they'll start with Apple's default doc and have to start from scratch. Well, that's all for this video on pranks. For those of you who are wondering, this is Apple's default dock right here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed these pranks. You know what they say, knowledge is power and power corrupts. So use this knowledge wisely and have a happy April 1st.